the difference between a black revolution and a Negro revolution. First, what is a revolution? Sometimes I'm inclined to believe that many of our people are using this word revolution loosely without taking careful consideration what this word actually means. You haven't got a revolution that doesn't involve bloodshed and you're afraid to bleed. Revolution is complete, constructive, conscious, cosmic change. Revolution to me is a social uh, and economic overthrow without permission. We're not going to escape this thing without bloodshed. Everybody ain't gonna make it. And when we talk revolution in today's time, we have to talk uh, an economical revolution. That's the only way that we'll really, really be able to revolt in today's time because we're ill-prepared for anything else. That's precise science said. Everybody's not gonna make it, man. to be honest with you. And sad but true, some people that's watching this may be the ones that lose their lives. If you cannot change the identity of the mind of the person, it don't matter what type of revolution that you'll have. We're not prepared to have uh, to go to war with guns. Um, how can we go to war with guns and we can barely feed ourselves? When a revolution comes, different tactics are going to be employed to subdue people. And one of those tactics may be starvation. We have to have a defense team, meaning a team that is just as willing to die like a Navy SEAL on the front. If you think you're going to use the white man's money to get from underneath the white man, you are a fool, okay? Because the greater you grow financially and economically, the greater he's going to grow because he's the one taxing you and dispensing the money that you have. The only way an African really finds himself in a true revolution is connecting himself back with a continent. Now suppose they gave us, our brothers in Africa, gave us some territory. Some of our people would want to go develop it. You may not want to, but some of our people tired of white people. Some of our people want to build a nation of our own. Mass exodus is when African people in North America claim being African and begin to do their economic, political, and cultural connections to the continent of Africa. The scripture says, come out of her, my people, and be not partakers of her sins and her plagues, because the plagues are hitting America. But black people are all interwoven in America and caught up, caught up so much so they don't want to leave America. The catalyst for mass exodus has already happened. I mean, it's white racism, white oppression, genocide against our population. All of those are reasons why we should be getting the hell up out of here. We have to come out of her mindset, come out of her thinking, come out of her way of life. Shit, come out of her. A lot of times you can't even pull these brothers out from between the legs of the white woman. The hell, you gonna get them to go to another country to start all over again at 30, 40, and 50 years old. But my generation, we can't go, and most of our people will not leave. That's the reality. So how do we create the bridge between Africa and African America? Because you're not gonna get 60 to 70 million people to help leave this nation. When we're dealing with uh, another misconception people have about leaving the country, the white man pillaged Africa first. So you think you're gonna go over there and he's not already over there? So you, what are you out of your mind? You, be, you probably be worse off. May I that to this stuff me pack up and go in there because you got a couple hundred million people who are not gonna do that. How do you make those linkages so Africa is extended into the diaspora and the diaspora is extended into Africa and it is what we call one Africa.